Hi all, in this video we will discuss about compounding of steam turbines, pressure compounding, velocity compounding and pressure velocity compounding of impulse turbines and also compounding in reaction turbines. Compounding of steam turbines. We already discussed about working principle of steam turbine, impulse and reaction turbines in my previous video. The video link is given in description, you can check it. Now we can discuss what is compounding of steam turbines. In the case of a single stage impulse turbine, the turbine rotor speed is of the order of 30,000 rpm. Single stage means one set of nose and one set of moving blades. And if the turbine rotates in such a speed, it is impractical to control it. So we use compounding of turbines to reduce the speed of turbine to practical limits. Compounding of impulse turbine is achieved by using more than one set of nozzles, blades and rotors in series, keyed to a common shaft. The pressure and velocity of steam is regulated in different stages. In the previous video of steam turbines, I already said that reaction turbine use multiple stages, means compounding is always used in reaction turbines. Now, for impulse turbine, three types of compounding methods are used. Velocity compounding, pressure compounding and pressure velocity compounding. Velocity compounding of impulse turbines. Here, velocity of steam jet is regulated in stages, means kinetic energy is absorbed in stages. In velocity compounding, we use nozzle, moving blade and fixed or guide blades. Moving blade is in blue color and fixer blade is in maroon color. In the figure, a three stage turbine is shown. It consists of a set of nozzles, three rows of moving blades and two rows of guide blades or fixer blades. The guide blades are arranged between moving blades in the reverse manner. The guide blades collect the steam coming out of the moving blades and direct it to the next row of moving blades. When steam passes through the fixer blades, there is no change in pressure and velocity of steam, since the blades are symmetrical and no area variation between them. When steam passes through the moving blades, kinetic energy of steam is absorbed and so that the rotor rotates. The direction of blade rotation is shown in green color. Here velocity of steam decreases but pressure remains constant. Now look at the pressure variation in velocity compounded turbine. It is shown in black color. Steam pressure decreases from boiler pressure to condenser pressure in nozzle and remains constant in fixed and moving blades. Velocity variation is shown in blue color. The velocity increases in nozzle and decreases when steam passes through moving blades. Velocity remains constant when steam passes through fixer blades and again decreases in moving blades. Thus we can say velocity of steam is dropping or regulated in each stage. This is velocity compounding of impulse turbines. Pressure compounding of impulse turbine. Here pressure of steam is regulated in each stage. Each stage consists of a set of nozzles and moving blades. A three stage turbine is shown in figure. Here pressure of steam decreases in each set of nozzles and remains constant in moving blade. The pressure finally decreases from boiler pressure to condenser pressure. Variation of pressure is shown in black color. Velocity of steam increases in nozzles and decreases in moving blades. The variation is shown in blue color. So, we can say pressure of steam is regulated in each stage and this is known as pressure compounding. Pressure velocity compounding of impulse turbine. This is a combination of pressure compounding and velocity compounding. A two stage turbine is shown in figure. Each stage has a set of fixed and moving blades like in velocity compounding. Each stage is separated from adjacent stage by a set of nozzles. 
pressure drops in nozzle solely and remains constant in fixed and moving blades velocity increases in nozzles decreases in moving blades and remains constant in fixed blades the pressure and velocity variations is shown in figure and this pressure velocity compounding offers large pressure drop in less number of stages compounding of reaction turbine we already discussed about reaction turbines in our previous video of steam turbines reaction turbine uses fixed and moving blades only and no nozzles are provided the fixed or guide blade functions as nozzle and directs steam to moving blades a three stage turbine is shown in figure each stage consists of a fixed and moving blade pressure decreases in both fixed and moving blades as there is area variation and blades are not symmetrical velocity increases in fixed blade and decreases in moving blade the pressure and velocity variation is shown in figure okay i hope you understood all the topics if you like the video subscribe my channel and click the bell icon also thank you